Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Derek from Simnet Nutrition and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you everything that I eat in a day in the hopes that I inspire you, motivate you, but most importantly, give you some ideas on different plant-based meals that you can make and eat at home yourself. And I like to kind of package it all into a bit of a vlog style video just to kind of put everything into some context and keep it interesting. And another reason why I love these videos and filming these videos is because it gives a context into what I actually eat in a day. So I often like to do recipe videos where they're a little bit more involved, a little bit more complicated, and take a little bit more time. Uh, but quite often I eat fairly simply meals that I can throw together really quickly, but that are still delicious, still contain lots of variety, and are still nice, bright, and colorful, and fresh. So that's what I'm gonna be showing you here today. So I'm gonna be heading to the gym here in a bit, but I just wanted to come to the park this morning, start my day off here because it's just such a beautiful, nice day out here. Summer is quickly coming to an end, so I'm just trying to squeeze every last bit out of it that I can. And I thought it'd be a nice place to just to kind of start the vlog. I'm gonna do a little bit of a stretch, a bit of a jog as well, just get my body moving and uh, just enjoy myself. Get a little bit of that nature in me, a little vitamin N. I think it is so important, especially earlier in the day, but anytime you can get it in, it's gonna make you feel so much better. So this morning when I got up, I just had some water and I had a piece of toast, peanut butter and banana. So often, if I'm just gonna go straight to the gym, I'll go fasted. I won't have anything in the morning but water. Uh, and then maybe some pre-workout, which I'm gonna have after this. Uh, but I usually, just like that feeling, I like how it feels best. However, if I'm like filming, I'm coming to the park first, doing a bunch of stuff, then usually I'll get something in my stomach just so I like I'm not too hungry. I have good energy to keep blasting through my workout. So anyways, my warm up is complete. Feeling good, feeling ready for the day, feeling ready for the gym. So I'm gonna head there right now, hit a quick push day. So I'm gonna focus on mostly shoulders, chest, and then some triceps as well and then yeah, head home and make an amazing post-workout meal. I'm excited for that already. Let's get into it. All right, so I vastly improved my technique since the last time you guys saw me try and dry scoop. I actually tried to take it dry, but so I have learned you need to have a bit of water first in your mouth and then take the scoop. Woo! That is strong. But it works. All right. Let's get in there. So back from the workout and it's time to refuel. So I always like to have some fruit after my workouts and you guys know quite often I'll have like a big fruit smoothie with a bunch of greens, bananas, some like flax or hemp seed or whatever in it. But today I feel like having something a little different and I feel like showing you guys something different because you've seen me make that post-workout smoothie like thousands of times on this channel. Uh, but I still wanna get some fruit in and it is peach season and the peaches are just incredible right now. Probably one of my favorite fruits, especially when they're nice and ripe. And I've got that half a banana as well for my peanut butter and banana sandwich this morning that I've got to eat up too, so a little combo deal. All right, so nothing crazy, just a quick little breakfast saute, and I've got these potatoes that have been steamed, left over from last night, so I'm gonna start by chopping these up. And I'm just gonna add everything to a nice big bowl so it's really easy to season. And uh, I'm just gonna cook it all at the same time. So nothing fancy, just keep it nice and simple some red and yellow pepper. And then I'm gonna chop up one of these seitan sausages. This is by Field Roast, the smoked apple and sage flavor. These are so good. And in just one sausage, there's 26 grams of protein. So it's probably all I need. Some cabbage. And then I've got these amazing oyster mushrooms. I figured I might as well chop up some of these. And then just some green onion. I've been enjoying just like chopping it really rough and into like big chunks and then sauteing them like this. It's so good. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot. I've got a whole bunch of tomatoes from the garden and might as well use some of these up because we've got so many ripening right now. We've got some red ones, some orange ones, 
And then I've got these ones as well. They're just starting to ripen and look how beautiful the color is. They've got like a purplish kind of tint to them. And then just a bit of seasoning, onion powder, garlic powder, smoked paprika, some black pepper, and then some of this Herbamare organic herbed sea salt. This stuff is so good, adds so much flavor, obviously from the salt, but there's also some other seasoning and stuff in there as well. Well, it's probably enough. <laughs> It's gonna be so good. And then just a quick splash of water. This will help everything cook and help it from sticking to the bottom. All right, so that's pretty much done cooking. It only took like, I don't know, maybe like 10 minutes. I'm just gonna dump a bunch of arugula into this bowl and then I'm gonna have it on top of here. I always try and have some greens at least. I try to make them raw greens, but some greens with each meal. I think it's a good habit to get into. Make a little nest for my food. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna chop up this avocado. You know what's funny is sometimes you get these avocados that like are a bit more reddish for whatever reason. And I don't know why, but I always like when I get these ones. I feel like there's some sort of like secret nutrient in them that the other ones don't have. <laughs> I don't know, it's kind of crazy, but gets me excited. And then some of this nice and fresh pico de gallo. This stuff is so good. We actually get it at Costco. If you see it there and you've never tried this, you should definitely get it. It's unbelievable. Salsa is an amazing condiment because it's generally like pretty low in calories. So you can just like load up your food on it, you know, as opposed to something like ketchup or, you know, I don't know, like a mayonnaise based uh, like dressing or creamy dressing or something like that that has, you know, a whole bunch of added calories to it. And it's absolutely full of flavor. And we know it like tomatoes are really good for us and all the other stuff that's in there. So yeah, I absolutely love. And then I'm gonna finish it off with a little bit of this basil pesto, which is definitely, a bit more calorie dense than the salsa, but I'm only gonna use a little bit of it. And I'm not like scared of calories or anything like that, but you know, sauces are one of those things that's like a really easy way to add a bunch of excess calories to your food that you're not like realizing, right? And if you're trying to stay lean and shredded and all that, uh, it's definitely something you gotta be conscious of. But this stuff is like packed full of flavor, so you don't need too much of it. Yeah, I think that's probably it. All right, so there it is. It doesn't look the prettiest, but Man, I can bet you it is going to taste incredible. And definitely didn't take very long to put together. Yeah, it's amazing. All right, so yeah, it's as amazing as you could imagine it to be. Just so fresh, so many different flavors, so many good, tasty, and healthy ingredients. It's gonna leave me feeling good, energized, not like too full or, you know, bloated or like tired or anything like that. This is the way to do it. So anyways, I'm gonna crush this. Got some work to do on the computer, and uh, yeah, I'll probably see you guys back here in a little bit, and we'll make, I don't know, maybe some lunch, <laughs> maybe it'll be dinner time, I'm not too sure. All right, so I just decided to come up for a bit of a walk. I've been trying to get a little bit more movement in and a little bit more nature, as I mentioned. Summer's coming to an end quickly, and I'm just trying to, you know, build up the memories and experiences, uh, and movement is always good. So I've been trying to like run, or you know, go for a bike ride, or walk one of those three at least once a day but it doesn't always happen but I aim to. So some of you might have noticed I haven't posted anything here on YouTube in a couple weeks. This is the longest I've gone in a long time without sharing any videos and uh, the reason is because I had some family in town. My sister was here with her kids so my two nephews. So where I live here on Vancouver Island is a pretty cool place to get to show people around so it's always fun when they come here and uh, we did so many fun things and if you guys follow me on Instagram then you probably would have seen some of these clips but I figured I'd just share with you like a few of the cool things that we did throw some clips up here at the same time so uh, a couple highlights for me was definitely like cliff jumping that was <laughs> so fun because it was so hot here and the river's obviously nice and cool and there's this like really great cliff jumping spot right near us so that was pretty fun we also uh, went to the playground quite a bit because my little nephew loves doing like flips and stuff and you guys know I had to show him that Uncle D can still do some flips <laughs> and then speaking of flips we also went to the trampoline park and I did some flips and some other things there I go there regardless if you know my little nephews are here or not I absolutely love that place 
Uh, then we also went to the museum, which is really cool. We have a neat like natural history museum here on Vancouver Island. It's a little ways away from us here, but uh, it was really fun. They have like one of the, a replica of, I thought it was the original, but replica of one of the most complete T-Rex skeletons ever found. So that was pretty cool to see. And then there was one other thing. What was I gonna say to you guys? Uh, oh yeah, this is so exciting for me actually. So recently I decided to get my motorcycle license and get a motorbike. So that's something I've always wanted to do since I was young and I don't know, I just kind of put it off. Also haven't felt responsible enough until now to ride a motorcycle. But uh, here's a picture of my bike right here. It's a KTM Duke. 390 so it's not like a super fast bike it definitely looks faster than it is but man it is still really quick and it is so much fun i just love riding on it so anyways that's it the update from me crystal is uh she's doing well she's at home right now because she's feeling a little under the weather today so she didn't really want to be in this vlog but uh yeah we're doing great and uh, other than not feeling the best, she's doing really well too. So I'm gonna continue this walk in the forest. It's so beautiful in here. Look at this part right here. It's so green, so nice. And uh, yeah, head home and make some more food. Uh, so check this out. This looks like some sort of bird's nest that's like falling out of a tree. Oh, it's pretty cool, look at the size of it. So another reason why I love to come out at this time of year is because of all the blackberries. If you can see all these bushes right here are all blackberry bushes and the blackberries are so sweet this year. We haven't had any rain as you can see it's like so dry and uh, I think a lot of this is actually smoke not clouds because like BC is like on fire right now. Luckily no fires too close to us but yeah it's been pretty bad the fire season. However it does make for some delicious berries because I think when it like rains a lot the berries the I don't know the flavor kind of gets like washed out a little bit uh, and when they're nice and dry they're like so sweet and the flavors are like so concentrated but the juicy the the berries are still nice and like plump and juicy and everything let me see if I can kind of climb in here and get some you gotta blow all the bugs off them oh so good not sour at all wow not bad for like one minute of picking <laughs> not even and they're everywhere all these bushes all right so i'm gonna walk home and then i'll see you guys back there i'm probably in the kitchen because if i'm not outside i'm not at the gym probably in the kitchen <laughs> All right, so I just got back from that walk and it's still a little while to dinner time, but I do want to eat something small, so I'm gonna have a smoothie. You guys thought I could go a whole video without making a smoothie? No, not gonna happen. So uh, it's just gonna be a really small, like slimmed down version of the one I often make. So just uh, one banana, some frozen organic strawberries, some flaxseed, and then I'm also gonna add a scoop of protein powder. This is the veg plant protein vanilla ice cream flavor. It is so amazing. And then a scoop of their creatine plus. So this is just like some creatine plus this like adaptogenic blend of different uh, medicinal mushrooms. It's actually a really cool product. So you guys will probably know, but I'm working with Veg Nutrition now. So I am an ambassador for them. If you guys want to check out their products, they have a whole vegan line of amazing supplements, all USDA organic, heavy metal tested, all the good stuff. And their protein powder is incredible. It's like so smooth and creamy. It's almost hard to believe it's like a vegan protein powder. So uh, yeah, check out the link in the description box down below. Use my discount code Derek10 for 10% off. They have some really cool products actually. So I actually wanted to show you guys this product of theirs because I have been taking this. Feel great and I love that it's like an all-in-one multivitamin. So this is called Veg Essential and it's a multivitamin aimed at vegans. So it has some vitamin D in it which is from lichen so it's vegan friendly which not all vitamin D3 is and it's got B12, magnesium, zinc, selenium, vitamin K2 and then it has some algae oil which will be giving you some omega-3, some DHA and EPA which is pretty cool as well all in a couple capsules so I'm not gonna put those in my smoothie but I am going to take them <laughs> yeah vanilla banana strawberry cold creamy so good 
All right, so I'm gonna drink this and chill for a bit and then I will meet you guys back in the kitchen and we'll make some dinner. I actually still have no idea what I'm gonna make. I'm gonna have to check in the fridge, see what needs cooking, but uh, it's gonna be tasty. All right, so I've already got dinner cooking and it's on the stove behind me, so let me show you what I have going on and I'll explain how I made it. So these are some refried beans, and I know they do not look tasty at all, but they're gonna be really good. They're actually uh, a can that I brought back from Trader Joe's in LA, and they're the fat-free refried beans. So I'm sure they're gonna be delicious. They're already seasoned and all that. And then this is just some sauteed broccoli. So it was frozen broccoli, but I obviously thawed it, and now I'm just sauteing it with some freshly chopped garlic, some cumin, and then a little bit of everything bagel seasoning. And then this is just some sauteed seasoned tofu. So to make this, I just cubed some extra firm tofu, added some frozen veggies, this taco seasoning, and then some chopped purple onion, and then just sauteed all that together. So right now I'm just kind of making this like sort of guacamole salsa kind of thing that I like to have. So uh, just some chopped cilantro, some avocado, some of that pico de gallo, and then just a bit of this taco seasoning that I have left over. All right, so there it is, all finished. Looks pretty good to me, nothing crazy. It's not the most beautiful dish I've ever made, but it'll definitely work. The broccoli is surprisingly good. The cumin is such a nice seasoning to add with fresh garlic. Man, that's good. All right, let me try those Trader Joe's refried beans. Yeah, they're nice. Really good. All right, let me get into this tofu. I'm excited about this one. Yeah, the tofu is also really good. All mixed together, this is actually gonna be just incredible. All right, so I guess that brings us to the end of this video. I'm gonna eat this, and I know I'm gonna be really full, so probably not eating anything after this. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I eat today. Hopefully it gave you some ideas on different plant-based meals that you can make at home yourself. If it did, hit the like button for me. I would love that, and I appreciate it a lot. Definitely let me know in the comments down below what you thought of the day, and uh, subscribe so you can see more. I will see you soon in another video. Some other videos of mine that I think you might like, and if you're looking for some delicious and healthy plant-based recipes, check out my new recipe ebook, Easy Vegan Comfort Meals. It contains over 60 plant-based recipes, lots of delicious sauces that I know you're gonna love. Thanks for watching, and thanks for the support.